Hi guys, hello and welcome to Sifa's Corner. Today I am going to talk about skincare. I know there are thousands of videos about skincare on YouTube, but today's video is specifically for people with chronic illness. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Wasifa and I make videos every Friday about chronic illness and I talk about how to make your life easier with chronic illness and make it beautiful. So if you can relate to the problems or if you want someone to be your friend and talk to you about chronic illness, you are in the right place. Subscribe to the channel and let's be friends. I have been suffering from a chronic illness called thoracic outlet syndrome for the last 15 plus years and uh, in this time, I have met many people like me who has skin concern due to their chronic illness. When you have a chronic illness, you must have seen that when you have a flare up or you are having a bad day, then usual, your skin reacts really badly. You can see your skin is getting red or it's feeling itchy or really sensitive. It feels like you are almost having an allergic reactor. But I think when we have a chronic illness, our skin is also battling with the symptoms we are having inside our body, so it reacts. So it's really important that you know that how your skin reacts when you have a flare-up and you choose your products accordingly. As for my skin, it's combination, uh, my nose area gets really oily, but the rest of my face, my cheek and my chin or my forehead area is quite normal but in those days when i feel like my chronic pain is getting really bad and um, i have a really bad flare up my skin gets really dry sometimes it itches and i can see that there are some rash especially around my jawline here and my eyes get sunken the dark circles get prominent and it looks like i have not been drinking water i'm dehydrated and uh, and i'm not sleeping properly. That's true because most of the time chronic pain interrupts our normal sleep cycle and we get less sleep than usual. So it's normal that we are going to get dark circles. You know? And another thing I have noticed that my lips, there's black horizontal line on my lips when I'm having too much pain. Uh, sometimes I see that I have red bruises on my lips probably due to the chronic pain at night. I bite my lips at night. so. Yeah, these are some of the problems that I face and I know that many of you face these too. So the products I have chosen here today, they work well on your bad days and they work equally well on your good days. So it's wise to invest in good skincare products that will work on your skin in any condition, you know. Just a word of caution that the products that work well on my skin will not or may not work well on your skin. So use with caution and do a bath test before using any new product. So let's talk about the products now. So the first product that I'm going to talk about is the first aid face cleanser. It's called the Pure Skin Face Cleanser. Why I chose this one? There are many cleansers in the market and some are cream, some are gel, some have exfoliants in them. But this one I chose specifically because it takes off makeup. You can use it if you don't have any makeup. Even if you're having a bad skin day and your skin is getting really itchy and irritated or you have a sunburn when you need something mild, you can use this cleanser. I have made some notes so that I don't miss any points. This formula is non-stripping pH balance and it maintains skin's natural acidity and it also helps to reduce skin flare-ups. It does not leave my skin too tight or dry or does not even feel like I have makeup or oil left on my skin. So Firstly Beauty claims that it removes dirt, oil and makeup while leaving skin soft and soft. Some face cleansers that work really well when you don't have any makeup but works really bad when you have makeup like it does not take off makeup or it feels like your skin is still oily and grimy. This cleanser, it does not make your skin feel like that. I have used it after taking off my makeup and I have also used it when my skin is having a flare up and I don't have any product at all. It works equally well on both situations. So it's something that you should try to see if it works on your skin. Like get a sample from Ulta and see that if it works. 
and uh, I believe you are going to love it. The next product I'm going to talk about is Dermalogica Hydro Mask Exfoliant. This is something you know, you have to try it to see what I'm talking about. This product is quite new in my collection and uh, the first time I used it, I thought that is going to be like, uh, like a cream exfoliant, you know, not a mask. But the more I used it, the more I can see the changes in my skin. Sometimes you know that when you use exfoliant, your skin gets really irritated, especially around the cheek area but you can't even feel that there is any exfoliant or any beads in here it just goes on like a cream you'll just keep it on like for two to three minutes and it starts working and after you take it off you can see that your face is looking luminous like it's so soft and so smooth you have to try it to see the difference so according to the brand this is a hydrating exfoliating mask Packed with hyaluronic acid and antioxidants. So how you can use it? After cleaning your face, apply generously on your face and neck. You can just open it, take it with your fingers and apply a thin layer around your face. And let it sit for like 3 minutes or 4 minutes while you do the rest of your shower or do any work. After 3 or 4 minutes, you are just going to wipe it off with some warm water. And that's it. According to Dermalogica, they are instructing to apply generously to cleanse face and neck, avoiding the eye area. Massage in circular motions until spheres disappear. You can see small spheres, but it doesn't feel like anything abrasive at all. Reminds me of thick boba tea. <laughs> I don't know why. The next product I'm talking about is also a, a mask and it's the Beekman 1802 bubble mask it's a very beautiful formula like it goes on like a cream you add it and you let it sit for a couple of minutes like five minutes and then you can see that it's foaming up after you take it off your skin will feel calmer and the redness will be less prominent i believe i am halfway to the end of this mask let's see what the brand has to say about this mask so Big Man 1802 claims that the cream transforms into a cloud-like whipped foam that bubbles over skin. Exactly what I was talking about. It calms and cools skin, instantly soothes redness. When I am having a really bad flare up like my skin is feeling itchy or it's like red and I can see that some breakouts or rashes are coming up. I will use this one after cleaning my face and let it sit for like 5 to 6 minutes. After the time is over, I will clean with plain water and pat it dry and follow up with the moisturizer. My skin feels much, much better and it calms down, you know. So it's worth checking out and I believe Big Man 1802 has launched some holiday skin sets and uh, if you are new to this brand, you can try those sets because it will save you money and you can also try to see this work on your skin. Next product I'm talking about is also a mask but it's a different kind of mask it's a clay mask the previous mask we talked about is quite fast acting but this one any clay mask you use you have to leave it for like 10 to 15 minutes to let them work properly this one is from sander sky it's their australian pink clay mask it's a pore refining face mask that remove impurities and brighten let's talk about why i'm showing you this today so this mask comes with a brush a small brush and i really prefer that because i don't like to dip my fingers into the jar and spread the germs it has a stopper and everything you may feel like that this mask is quite on the pricey side for the work or the size and everything but you will need a tiny amount just don't pile on too many product just thin layer and that's it this mask works on dull complexion and makes the pore appear smaller basically your face is just going to look cleaner, brighter after you use this mask. A little bit goes a long way, so apply a thin layer, let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes, and then wash it off with warm water. When you are applying, just avoid the eyes, eyebrows, mouth, hairline area, and follow up with a sunscreen, because this product contains vitamin A, and vitamin A products make your skin sensitive to sun rays. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. So if you feel like the mask is really pricey and you don't want to apply it on your whole face, 
you can just apply it around your nose area chin area these are the areas that blackhead appear most so you can just use it on your t-zone or your cheek area is feeling a little bit dull you can use it on your cheek area so do the multi-masking you know another thing that you can feel a slight tingling sensation while you are using this mask so don't be afraid first of all do a patch taste behind your ear to see that how it's working on your skin and yeah go ahead Next product I'm going to talk about is from Dharma E. It's their Vitamin C Bright Eyes Hydrogel Eye Patch. So remember I talked about that how the eyes look dehydrated and like the dark circles are getting darker. So if your eyes are also looking like that, try using these hydrogel patches. These are enriched with vitamin C and B3 and it helps to lift off the darkness a little bit. It also helps to remove the puffiness and makes your under eyes look brighter. After I use it, I feel that area around my eyes looking smoother and the texture has softened a little bit and um, I have also seen that my eyes look less puffy. You can leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then take off the patch you don't have to wash it off apply the excess serum on under your eyes as an eye serum sometimes even if you get enough sleep your eyes look really dark really tired it's like your eyes show that your body is going through a lot so i think this product is going to make your under eyes look brighter and look more plump and healthier the next product is a moisturizer and I have already talked about it on my skincare after laser hair removal video. This one is a Korean product and it's called the Sun Jung Hydro Barrier Cream. It's from Etude House. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing anything wrong. This is a very smooth gel cream moisturizer. The reason I love this is because I can use it at daytime or at night time and whenever I feel like my skin is getting really dry and it's getting really sensitive. Sometimes you just need one product to provide hydration and just nothing else you know just hydration like sometimes you don't need any extra special ingredient to brighten or like cover blemish or something like that this product will do just that it's a water-based cream and it's aimed for sensitive skin type this product is quite rich so you will need a small amount to cover your face and neck and i feel like my skin is looking plump and healthier just after using it i am going to link my previous video here and you can see that how it works on my skin the next product i'm going to talk about is a priming oil now you must be wondering what is a priming oil i was wondering it too so i searched in google and i checked the website and i found out what it actually is so what is a priming oil according to the experts Priming oils are lightweight facial oils that are designed to provide skin with hydration needed to get skin ready for foundation application. This product is from Pixi Beauty. It's an oil that is suitable to use under your makeup. Now, today's video is totally skincare based, but why do you need Pixi Beauty Vitamin C Priming Oil in your skincare routine? Let's talk about that. Pixi Beauty Priming Oil is a tri-phase oil it has three layers as you can see it's made with vitamin c that brightens the skin it has turmeric that provides antioxidant protection and it has carrot oil that hydrates the skin so how do you use it you just gently shake it and mix the three formulas and then pat it on your skin never rub i have not found out why you should pat it on your skin and never rub most of the time when we are using a face oil we like to massage it into the skin and rub it really really well so how do i use it i use it after using a serum and i gently pat it on my skin and that's about it i can go on this product i'm going to talk about is an eye serum it's Dermalogica Biolumin C Eye Serum. I'm almost done with this one and I need to get a new one. So what it does, it's a very lightweight gel-like moisturizer and you will need a tiny pea-sized amount to go around your eyes. And the brand says that it's supposed to work on fine lines and wrinkles, loss of firmness and elasticity and puffiness. I have not seen any difference in puffiness but it acts as a wonderful serum to moisturize your under eye area. I use it every day because my under eyes are quite dark and I want to make them look brighter. 
So yeah, definitely worth checking out. This one has vitamin C complex, chia seed oil and other useful ingredients to combat the dryness and darkness. So if you are looking for something very lightweight that will work on your under eyes and dark circles, you can definitely check it out. The next product I'm going to talk about, it's like the holy grail serum for me. No matter what other serum I use, I always come back to this one. It's the Vichy Mineral 89 Skin Fortifying Daily Booster. And this is my second bottle and you can see that I'm almost at the end. So let me tell you why I love this so much. I live in Fargo, North Dakota and if you are around here, you know that weather gets so dry that our skin gets cracked and skin lacks moisture and add the chronic illness to it creates a really heavy toll on skin. This thing is like a heavy dose of hydration for your skin. I have used it without any products in summertime and I just used it and went on with my day. It worked amazing. It really provided hydration and the skin did not get greasy or dry after a few hours. And it also works great underneath makeup. Let me tell you what the brand has to say about the product. Mineral 89 is a serum that delivers your skin its daily dose of strength and hydration. This serum only has 11 ingredients and hyaluronic acid is the key ingredient. It's a molecule that can hold thousand times its weight in water and works to plump and hydrate, which in turn helps to smooth fine lines and give the complexion a beautiful bounce. So yeah, that's what I was talking about. It feels amazing after using this serum and you can use this serum and top it off with this moisturizer, the Sun Jung moisturizer. And if you have super dry skin, it's amazing for your skin. I can vouch that you can use it in any season and for any skin. So definitely check this out. So this part I'm going to talk about now is quite expensive and um, is from LMS. It's their superfood facial oil. It matches the green background pretty well, no? It's a lightweight, non-greasy and really fast absorbing oil. You will just need two drops to cover your face. I will apply it at morning time. It will just absorb quickly and give me a healthy, beautiful looking and hydrated skin. And as the day goes on, it does not make my skin look greasy, you know. Sometimes some oils, they just absorb really well. It makes your skin look great, but after a few hours, your skin starts to get really greasy and really oily, you know. It will not do that. I feel that it somehow checks the oil level of my skin and my skin does not get too oily after using this oil. And uh, let's see what the brand has to say about that. It's a light, non-greasy, antioxidant and omega rich formula. It's like a booster dose of moisturizer without the greasiness. You can use it at daytime or nighttime. I like to use it in morning time when I'm at home and I'm working from home and I'll just add two drops, pat it well on my skin, then massage it a little bit and that's it yes it's on the pricey side but i believe this product is worth it because if you are not comfortable with oil and oil breaks you out or if you just want something for the cold dry winter definitely check out this facial oil it will make your skin problems go away the products we have already talked about works really well on sensitive skin and helps to calm down the sensitivity and redness but the product I'm going to talk about, you can keep it in your purse and just spray it on your face and it feels very refreshing. It's from Florence by Mills, Lily Jasmine Zero Chill Face Mist. It's not a product that you need, but after you start using, you will love to wear it. You just spritz a couple of sprays on your face and the face and skin feels very relaxed. It feels like a quick dose of hydration and freshness to my skin. So if you love facial mist, I think you should check it out. It's not a makeup mist or anything, it's just a skin mist and you can just keep it on your pearl and spray it on your face whenever you feel like your skin is lacking moisture. So one bonus product I'm going to talk about, I can't believe that I forgot about this product. This product is also from Florence by Mills and it's their toner. This product is the episode 3 balance it out. When my skin is feeling very irritated I wash my face with this face cleanser and then I will just use a couple of drops of this toner and pat it on my face. I can feel that the skin is already getting calm 
and the redness is going down so after I finish it I will just add a little bit of moisturizer or if I'm feeling fancy I'll use the serum and then the moisturizer or the facial oil it really helps to make your skin calm and balance out the uh, oiliness around your nose and everything the next product is lip balm actually you can use any lip balm you want just use a lip balm because when you have chronic illness your lips get very dry maybe due to the pain or the complications our body is having the whole day and uh, it shows in our lips i'm going to show you three products i really love and i use it over and over again the first one is the beka plumping lip balm i posted about this i reviewed this on my blog cfastcorner.com and they come in eight shades I have this shade and it's called mist. It doesn't have any color. It will just provide beautiful hydration and your lips look a little bit plump and moisturized. It's really good and you can keep it in your purse and you can use it whenever you feel like your lips are getting dry. Good for everyday use. Another product is also a lip balm. It's from Armani Beauty and it's their Ecstasy Balm number two. It smells so good. I love the smell. Beautiful feminine smell. It's also a good product and it will keep your lips hydrated and moisturized for a long time. The third and final product for lip balm is actually a lip oil. It's from Tarte and it's the Sugar Rush Lip Sip Vegan Lip Oil. If you like beautiful glossy lips, this lip oil is just for you. Another thing that I love, sometimes when I'm having really pain in my hands, my fingers, I sometimes lose my grip and sometimes my grip strength is diminished. It has a plastic around its body. It's really easy to grip and open. You see? It's really handy to use. If you have problems with your fingers or your arms and your pain is really bad and you cannot open the bottle, this packaging is perfect for someone who has trouble with their fingers or their hand. So definitely worth checking out. The product looks amazing on lips. Just a beautiful hint of color and lots of sheen. And I really love the formula. It's made with jojoba, hazel and sunflower seed oil. It's cruelty fee, vegan and it doesn't have any petroleum in it. Just check it out. You can find it at Alta. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video and you are going to try the products I showed here today. I am not paid to talk about this product. Some of them I have bought myself and some were sent to me as PR gift. But I truly truly love these products and I use them regularly. So check them out, get a sample and try it on your skin and I hope you love them. If you have any question or you have any suggestion, please leave a comment below and if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing. Till my next one, stay healthy, stay beautiful and stay with Cephas Corner.